about to experience a dynamic motion ride, so please remain seated at all times and keep your arms and legs away from the doors. Please hold on to the safety rail, and in the event of an emergency, there is a stop button either in front of you or above your head. Hold tight. Here we go. slowed down to 225 miles an hour. Beautiful machine uh, that flies very, very important. I call them knowledge gathering missions to space. Because what we learn there, we would never learn on this. We monitor the size of a truck hooked up to cameras at the base of the launch pad. A lot of people gather at the visitor center and watch the main engine start on that big jumbotron. And then as soon as the shuttle clears the trees right from the visitor center, you get a great view. A lot of people gather on the banks of the Indian River along Highway 1, Titusville, Florida. It's about 13 miles away from the launch pad. Uh, it's free to the public. You just have to get there early enough to get a parking spot. Just south of here is Cocoa Beach. A lot of people gather here. And if you enjoy camping, there's Jetty Park, which is just to the north of Cocoa Beach. And a lot of people gather there to watch shuttle launches or rocket launches from Cape Canaveral. Rocket that would take the crew of Apollo 11. Do you remember Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins? Well, that rocket that took them to the moon came out of those doors perfectly level so it doesn't tip over. In fact, the original design of our launch pads was it to be level with the ground, but they just the pad, the part that have the lights on right now to the left, that's the rotating service structure. And that's a big giant swing arm. When we were launching shuttles here, that swing arm would swing around and cover the shuttle up on the pad, protecting it from the Florida UV rays of the sun that could damage the thermal blankets of the orbiter or any thunderstorms that might generate hailstones. Destiny is being embraced. 